public hearing on it, the petition of National Grid to install one solely owned pole beginning at a point approximately 260 feet west of the center line of the intersection of Thiston Road. National Grid to install one new pole and anchor on Main Street to provide service to Main Street. So this is for the new house. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and that doesn't work, eh? <laughs> Hi. I'm Iris from National Grid. Uh, we have a, uh, you guys have a residents um, uh, that would like to have power. <laughs> so whatever number Main Street it is, yep. in order to do it, we have to put a pole on the opposite side of the street. It's on the same side of the street. It's no, it's not going on the opposite side of the street. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Side, opposite side from the existing pole line. Yes. Well, opposite from the existing pole, but on the, on the side of the Where the houses, houses. Yeah, right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah. Driven by it a couple times. My only question is, can it be pushed back a little further from the pavement? I pushed it back as, um, I thought there was a big tree there. I can't remember it's been a while. Um, I thought I pushed it back far enough so okay. it can be plowed with no problem. It, it, is, back, it is back relatively far. Okay. 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 Um, now, is, that the, is it beyond where a, a sidewalk would go, for instance? Or, no? I don't think you have to put the sidewalk. We'll have a, it, it is back pretty far. I don't know exactly, but. Um, Up close to the cemetery is pretty tight right there, I and see. so it's it's not much further back than that. Uh, okay. than that if you do a straight line of sight, so it I don't would know be behind, behind that the raised wall kind of. Um, it's a, pretty much in line with the raised okay. wall. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll find it. Questions, concerns. Nope. You're all right with it, Mark. Yeah. yeah. There's no no mm -hmm. impact. On that tree, so it seems to be inspired <coughs> back for, like she mentioned, snow removal and stuff like that. So okay. it's a good question about the sidewalk because who knows what may happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and open the sidewalk on Main Street. Put, we can put, dream. Yeah. We can <laughs> dream. Put people in danger. Okay. We are. <laughs> All right, then I'll make a motion that we approve the request by National Grid to install one solely on pole beginning at a point approximately 260 feet west of the center line of the intersection of Hudson Road. National Grid will install one new pole and anchor on Main Street to provide service to the Main Street resident. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you okay, very much. I'm coming back next month because y'all were so good to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even if there isn't yeah. a hole. Yeah, we don't have it though. We don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can come to that. I mean, it was just so nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, we were just slowing you into a little. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have a nice day. You, you too. too. Take care. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Okay, Mark. Good night. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Next is public hearing on the application of. Let's see if I can mangle that. <laughs> don't hear this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Annual All Alcohol Beverages Restaurant License to Flotini's Restaurant and Bar Inc. at thank you. 544 Water Product. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, good evening everybody. Good, 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 good. 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 By now, most of you know I'm an Anastasia Specialist and I own Flotini's Restaurant and Bar. Most of my life I run it as DBA. Uh, my account last year I wanted to incorporate us for many reasons. So this January 1st, we became an incorporation. So the licensing has to be changed from DBA to corporate. So that's what we're here tonight. Mm -hmm. So technically it has to be treated as a new license. Yeah. So back to the process. Right. Okay. We did three times on the paperwork as <laughs> and they always find something. I mean they have the papers many, many times. And the first time that was submitted it got kicked back because it was uh, one form was handwritten instead of typed. And then yeah. type. <laughs> So then, it all, so then it was typed, and then when it was sent back in again, they said, oh, but there's a form further down that uh, 
you know, you need to change something in which they, apparently they stopped reading once they saw the so it was form. So it, it took three iterations to get to where it is. And does the manager change? No, no, everybody's the same. Everyone's the same. Um, it's just I'm Tom, that's what he means, that's the only people we have. <laughs> yeah, everybody remained the same. Same location, same restaurant, same food. <laughs> but the manager on the license is the same? Yes, me. Okay. I'm the same person. And there's no way, there, we haven't had any complaints. No, there have been no complaints. Anything. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, then, uh, hearing nothing else, I'll make a motion that we approve the application of Mr. Casares to request or transfer the annual all alcoholic beverage restaurant license to the restaurant and bar at 544 Water Water Pillow Road. Second. All in favor? All right. All right. Thank you very much. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you as always. Thank, Thank you. you. Just the ones? Yes, just that top one. Yeah, you're reading the same. Yeah. 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 And you don't want to hear this is for the whole yeah. hearing. So I've got the tabs we need to sign for those. Okay. okay. Land gift of two parcels from Steve Damon on Whitcomb Road. Hello. How are you this evening? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, last time we spoke, we were discussing this, uh, the acceptance of these two parcels. Um, you talked about having somebody possibly go out and take a look, um, which we did. Uh, when we had a CONCOM member, Jeff, La uh, Jeff Lawrence, went out at the end of last month to take a look, kind of see what the resource area looked like. Uh, and did a far better job mapping um, what was lost, I think, the first time around. These are different, but somewhat the same. I'm sorry, I'll take a look at this. As you can kind of see, it connects up with a huge chunk that the Damons are gifting to Harvard mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. And it also back ends up against what we already have as a butternut conservation area, mm -hmm. which kind of hits on what we try to do, find areas that abut right. current conservation land, especially that we have trails there. Um, and and forms longer contiguous uh, parcels. Um, he took out, it, you know, most of it's wetland right now, most of it is, I mean, it's half flooded, there's perennial streams. Um, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but he went out and took a look through, it's not really kind of set for trails right now, um, but right now the trail committee has enough going on just with mapping and maintaining our current trails. Mm -hmm. um, but you can truly see in the future how if, if they uh, if they plot it out in Harvard, it can mm -hmm. really back in be a nice overlook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. I think one issue that came up was environmental. Like, yeah. Did anyone look into that at all? Or? There was. Yeah. I think it was sent along and I don't have it with me. They did do a whole title and deed search and I think that was part of it too. There was an environmental sweep as well. Okay. Yeah, so we're worried about the cars and... Yeah, yeah, no, we find all the old farm dumps. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think Jack had and I do it too when he went out there. He was, yeah, he could find the evidence and he, he's noted done. Um, and he actually went through a pretty wide swath you know, kind of connecting to where we are now. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. I'm good. Questions, concerns? No, that was uh, that was my only 
issue. I didn't I didn't think I saw it in any of the documents that were sent over, any type of representation about a environmental how is it usually handled? Or? It it's usually incumbent upon I wanna say this that when the title search is done, everything uh, well like I said we would only know if it was pre existing. Um, I'm trying to think they to do an environmental it's been a while since I've looked at their file. We can definitely look through again. If you went out walked in, didn't see anything. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I've been sometimes you know people, towns will want uh, you know kind of a, a site assessment to make sure there's nothing buried there or anything like that. Right, but that can be fairly expensive and, and uh, yes, can take a while to get done. And you know, it's usually when there's you either know that there's been you know yeah. it's highly likely that there's something there, or or you know if you go out and you see some evidence that you know so in the um uh corner of property uh what was the the big uh the pig farm that was developed up there um zings zings yeah when, when that was developing just walking back and you saw all the all the debris and stuff so you knew that there was yeah, <laughs> you know, buried, there, there's yeah. stuff buried there and there were you know you need you know that it was going to take some work so but here I mean, if they didn't see anything and there's no yeah you know, and, and also you know, when you think about it you know so much this, this is this is all this is all butternut here, and yep. they, they didn't find anything. So I mean, we're talking about a relatively <coughs> small additional chunk of right of, yeah, of, and of and land. A good yeah. chunk that's flooded too. Right. So yeah. if they, you know, even even that, it's highly unlikely that yeah. they, they didn't do that. Yeah. So. Okay. Um, you want to handle both parcels in one vote, or you want to? So the other parcel is just a little half acre on. Yeah, on corn. on corn, which I do believe is actually an envelope around it is town owned land currently. Yeah. Okay, you, you can do both parcels with one vote. Okay. okay, and I think yeah, I think that that is that, that that's the land that that Harold was or the cemetery committee was looking at. For <coughs> future oh, expansion. Um, no, that or is was, this, this is further. This is a little wetter. It is. I mean, what they were talking about was 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 way down. Okay. Um, can't remember exactly, and it's. I, yeah, I don't think, no, I don't believe it is the same way. No, I think it was a different process. It was a different process. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it was right at the corner. Of no, it was a, it, it, there was a side street across it, but it wasn't on the corner. I'm trying to remember the exact, I could, you know, okay. I could drive to it, but I can't yeah. describe it very well. <laughs> okay. But, okay. There, but there, yes, there was, there was the old shed that had collapsed there and right. they moved it. And there was a, there was a street right across the street, but, but there was no corner. Okay. Okay. All right, then I will uh, make a motion that we accept the, the, the land gift for two parcels from uh, uh, Stephen and Damon from Wilkin Road. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. So numbers four and five on the road to myself. Okay. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, it's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get you out of here early. Um, okay, next is request for approval for a sign for Bolton Bean at 626 Main Street. Come on down. Frank, how are you? Good to stand. Good to All right. Hello, Linda. Hi, Bud. Hi, Bud. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Start training early. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, you know, I, it's nice to educate them on what goes on in town. So I apologize for the rough artwork. Um, it was rushed. Oh, no, that's that's fine. But actually, um, I'm going to only go with the name, not not the bottom line. Okay. I'm going to go with something like that instead. Okay. Okay. Um, in the font, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, I've been struggling, but my wife actually picked out the best one. If you can find it. Maybe you need help. Just going to be the bottom one. That kind of font. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And actually that bottom one will be the one on the street. Okay. Mm. Yeah, it looks good. Tom, do some. Oh, no, Tom's not here. No one. <laughs> yeah. 
No, it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. So I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the request for a sign for Bolton Dean at 626 Main Street. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, sir. Awesome. You have the application, right, don't you? I do, yeah, but it's not filled out. All right, that's fine. Can I bring it tomorrow? <laughs> I have it right here. Next week, Tuesday. Bring it Tuesday. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. I will. All right, hey. And, um, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Good to see you all. You. Nice to meet you. Great photographers coming in. It's nice to meet you. This evening, right? Yes. Good deal. Yeah, we're waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's my> <laughs> <laughs> Say hi to your mom, right? Hi, Alan. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. Hey. It's crazy. I didn't know if the people with the uh, with the other sign were here yet or not. No. No. Oh, okay. So if you want to go to sequence, I'll ask Tom to get back in. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Tom back in and we'll, we'll just keep moving ahead. We're going to go on a sequence because the other side people are here yet. Nice to see you. Uh, Minuteman update is fairly brief. Um, the, uh, there have been no votes taken yet on the building project. They'll be coming up soon. Um, and one piece of information is that if, which we've already discussed, if, if, if any one town uh, rejects the uh, building project, then um, um, it, the project it, itself fails and then it's the district's option to go for the district-wide ballot as opposed to the vote in the 16 towns. And um, we, had, we thought that the date would be May 21st for that, but I, uh, Pam asked me to double check with uh, Minuteman to see if that had changed. It's a good thing she did because uh, it's now the date, if that is to take place, is now June 18th, which is a Saturday. Uh, and it has to be at this, uh, on the same day in all towns. Uh, it is at the district's expense, it's not at the town's expense. And uh, the hours are to be determined, it needs to be, I believe, for the same hours you know, in each town. Uh, same duration, I don't know if it needs to be the exact same hours mm -hmm. or not. Um, but tentatively, it looks like it's probably 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But the district did say that um, they'll be uh, trying to convene a meeting of all the town clerks where the town clerks can all come out to go out there and, uh, and go over all the logistics. So that, that's where that stands right now. Um, is that all, that was all 16 towns? All 16 towns, okay. because they're still members of the district okay. and um, for, for, for voting purposes. And okay. there's, there's an understanding that the towns that have voted to withdraw won't do anything to reject the project, but you know that's an understanding right? because they won't incur the debt. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's that, and just one thing that I, I did want, I've already uh, let the selectmen know this, but as a, as a, just a notification for the public, uh, the uh, plan date now for the uh, transfer of the dispatch function from the Public Safety Building to uh, the Shoba Valley is April 19th. Uh, the projected date long ago had been June 30th, which was our, our target. Um, Things started happening more quickly, so we had we were able to pull the date in. We had a few false dates, or not false dates, the dates that had to slip. So I didn't I didn't announce those because I didn't want to keep on announcing changing dates until I was comfortable that we had a real date. And um, last week it, it was um, it was determined that it would be April 19th. It actually slipped from April, well not slipped, it pulled in from April 20th to April 19th uh, last week. So. Uh, just want to make sure that everyone is aware of that. And uh, as again, that date was just finalized last week. Okay, good. So, um, so that's what I have tonight for my town administrator's report. But I'd be happy to answer any questions that the board has. Okay. Uh, let's see here. You, you could go to business and uh, and vote on the authorization uh, it, 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 it's an authorization really for me to sign 
the appendix, as you see, the signature line is mm -hmm. in there for the town administrator and the town okay. and the superintendent. So you did vote on this at your previous meeting, but you voted, technically you voted on the concept. You didn't have, you didn't vote on the exact language, you didn't have the appendix in front of you. And just to make sure that there, that there were no technical issues, I wanted to make sure that uh, that you had the actual wording in front of you and that you were, you were authorizing me to, uh, to sign on your behalf. Mm -hmm. okay. Appendix A in the lease agreement between the town of Bolton and the Shelby Regional School District. Okay. And just designate me as your authorized. And designate you as your authorized signer. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Opposed? No. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see. I haven't passed any minutes long, so I don't know if anybody. See where your minutes are. Um, let's see what else we There was one batch there. of minutes that I forwarded to, to you, Tom. You did send it? Uh, at least a week ago. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Find that more. Okay. Find that. I'll take an inventory next week of now that the okay. warrant's done in the annual report, <laughs> and I'll look and see where they are. Okay. Good. We'll take a quick peek and see if anyone's in the park. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what are we waiting for? Well, the, the uh, Ewing's uh, uh, photo studio. Uh -huh. yeah. They're coming now? Okay. <laughs> Let's get started. Are we Yeah. 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 Okay, next is a request for uh, sign approval for the Ewing's Photo Studio at 626 Main Street. Hello. Hi. How are you tonight? Good. Good. I'm Ben Ewing. I'm co-owner with my wife Erica. And I'm looking to put a sign on the outside of our building. Um, this is what we're looking to yep. put up. So yeah. I'm glad to know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good thing. To yeah. Fine with me. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm fine with the sign. Okay, so there's one on the main sign out in front of the right. So be going over the door. Over the door, yeah, okay. exactly, exactly, yeah. Okay. They have the sign out front, but we've noticed people went sure which door to go to. So yeah. we, <laughs> <little inside. laughs> we thought we had one above the door. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, then I'll uh, make a motion that we approve the sign request for the Ewing's Photo Studio at 626 Main Street. I'll second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you thank very much. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, moving right along here then. Next is discuss the year three regional contract and scope of services for Metro S C D. So Doug Dory and Kevin O'Brien should be. Uh, here comes Kevin. I guess I need to talk slower here so we're not running ahead. <laughs> that would be really bad to be running ahead. Except not very spicy. Is Doug joining you? You can do it on floor now, so. Okay. Doug did tell me he was coming. Okay. Um, Is anyone coming to the next one? 
No, but there, there is someone coming. Oh, yes, there is. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So you talk among yourselves for a few minutes until the doctor gets here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I want to set expectations of this. I'm just going to have some parking lot and coming back. Yeah, I'll try it. Go ahead. See if we can get two for two tonight. All right, that's a private. Yeah, maybe Kevin can just start explaining. Yeah, we could just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on down. Yeah, I'm going to Oh, yeah. Doug can join you when he uh, yeah, gets here. My old boss from the house in the body. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start, or should I start? Please. <clears throat> um, do you know, for the last two years, we've uh, used an uh, organization called Metro West, which is hired by a consortium of local communities to monitor and, um, and deal with affordable housing issues in town, mm -hmm. uh, specifically the houses that are on our list of um, subsidized houses. Uh, so this is the third year and we have to renew their contract each year. Um, I think they're originally down for $10,000 and the first year there was quite a bit of work they had to do to sort of catch up with uh, all of the records of all of the affordable housing in, <coughs> in Bolton. And, um, at this point we've, we've had discussions with them and Don was involved in one of our discussions. Um, when I say we, <coughs> I mean the members of the Affordable Housing Trust who are not selectmen. There are three of us, and there are three of you, the six of us make up yeah. the Affordable Housing Trust. And uh, in our discussion, <coughs> we uh, felt that there wasn't that much work that they needed to do, but the they do make an important contribution given the expertise that they have in affordable housing regulations and um, and also we really appreciated the association we had with the other communities. Um, we learned things from each other mm -hmm. uh, which was helpful. Uh, at any rate, the three of us who met with uh, Metro West wanted to recommend that the town do hire them for a third year with a contract that would not exceed two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And uh, in the past, this money has been paid out of the Affordable Housing Trust Fund, which is the fund that we s collectively, six people, um, manage. <coughs> and. Uh, it's my personal feeling that that's not the appropriate use of that money and that um, this is a responsibility of the town to the Board of Selectmen. Uh, so putting on your other hat that uh, maintaining the affordable homes that Bolton has and trying to reach toward the 10% affordable housing that every community has if they want to avoid 40B things. I don't know. I go into that much more. But um, so I think that our recommendation is that renew it not to exceed $2,000 and try to get it into the town budget and uh, not take that money from the Affordable Housing Trust. And that 
so yeah. Well, while there's no there's no budget line item for this, I, I did say when I attended the meeting that um, I think this would be an appropriate use of the purchase of services line item. Um, mm -hmm. That and so we could certainly utilize two thousand dollars from that to take care of this. And then we need to get a budget line item next year. Yeah, I think yeah, I think we should just see yeah. get it in there and can expose it as a. <laughs> You can put it in the planning board but, budget, I would say. Yeah. Well, or the selectman's budget, right, that's true. It could be either. Well, actually, put it as a line item somewhere. Yeah. Actually, it actually would make more sense to put it in the selectman's <coughs> budget. Right. right. But, but at least then it's exposed that we're doing this and, you know, and, and such. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I'm, I'm, yeah, we move up. Let's talk about whether we want to renew it first, and then we can talk about you know, the funding for it. So, um, I, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. With it being renewed, and I think it's you know, you've said in the past it's been valuable service, and mm -hmm. we're not talking about a huge sum of money. Yeah, I, I think in the past we've lost some affordable units by not having a monitor, and now we're right. we're at least keeping it. Now they they keep right. on top of it, so it's I think uh, all in all, it's a good thing. Right. I agree. Okay. All right, then I'll uh, make a motion that we uh, approve year three of the regional contract and scope the services of Metro West uh, and uh, that we uh, fund the $2,000 cost to do that out of the uh, purchase of service line item in the selectman's budget. I would second it. I just have one question before we vote. Is this the agreement attached? Is that what we would be living by? Um, I don't have the. Uh, no, this the is the one that was signed. Oh, last year. Last year would it be the same? Yeah. 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 It doesn't seem to cap the fees at all. Uh, well, <coughs> um, we can we can make sure that it does. That I, they clearly understand that that's our intention. And, uh, that's fine. Okay. Well, I'll just I'll just amend that's that. That's all we approve. I'll just amend my my motion that we, that the expense is capped at two thousand dollars. Okay, all in favor. Perfect timing. All right. Aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with Kevin's recommendation. <laughs> <laughs> you recommended that you do it. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 So you were going to write the check for it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Good okay. seeing you, Doug. Good to see you. Sorry. Okay, next, and oh, well, I guess we need to uh, entertain ourselves for another uh, few minutes here since well, we've been told that there is someone coming for this. Yeah. For the five share? Yes. Yeah. Martha Lemington. So we drive down and pick her up and bring her over. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we've done everything else. The appointment, uh, the discussion of the appointment of the chief. Yeah. Technically, you could bring it in, but there could be people coming later for that specific purpose. And yeah. if you did it early, they would miss the discussion. So, yeah, I was trying not to start that early. I mean, you could certainly do it. There isn't anything that prevents you from doing it, but someone may come later for that. I have no problem taking it out of board. It's absolutely, if there is an anything that says you can't do it. <coughs> okay, I mean, chairman's prerogative. Okay, well, I don't see any reason. And if there's no objections, I guess let's take it out of order and get it done with. Okay. Okay, um, so back in October, 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 uh, we had voted to appoint uh, Warren Nelson as our acting chief for until 
now with the intention of doing a performance evaluation and uh, deciding whether to continue to appoint him as the full-time chief or whether we would broaden the search if, based on, on feedback at, at, at this point. Uh, over the last week or so, the selectman and town administrator did our performance reviews. They came out all in pretty good range. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but they were all in the high threes, low fours, out of five. Um, and um, so that is where we are with that. Um, I don't know if anybody has comments, questions, concerns. I don't. Okay. Anybody in the? No. Can I never miss an opportunity to say something? I've had a break for a few months. I, I just wanted to take this moment to say that about 12 years ago, when I was still working in the Framingham Police Department as a bureau commander, I got a call from a Lieutenant Nelson from the Bolton Police Department. I had no idea who he was, but he was calling in reference to a background check for a reserve officer that Bolton was thinking of hiring, who is still here as currently a full-time officer. And I could not believe how efficient, how caring, and how professional this Lieutenant Nelson was. Matter of fact, it moved to me so much that I would go to the Bolton Fair every year when it was still here in Bolton. I made a note on my calendar. When you go to the Bolton Fair, look up the chief and put a good word in for Lieutenant Nelson. Who did I know that a couple of years later, I would be spending almost every day of my life, many three o'clock mornings, with this gentleman. So I, I just wanted to go on record. In my lifetime, I have not met anyone as ethical and as professional and as morally good as Lieutenant Warren Nelson, acting chief now, Warren Nelson. So for what it's worth, I feel you could not do any better for a permanent chief's position. I trusted my life to this man every day for almost 10 years. He never let me down. I was always impressed with his efficiency. I was always impressed with his integrity, his honesty, the loyalty that he had from all the officers, and his courage, his courage. One of the bravest men that I've ever met, and I mean that because I've seen him in situations where courage <coughs> drove everyone. So I hope you take all that into consideration, and I know you, this is a very important decision for the town, and it's a very careful decision for the town. But I think you have a really good man here. Thank you. Thank you. I've known Pammy Gherkin, for those who don't recognize my dulcet tones. Um, I have known the acting chief for probably 20 years. He's put up with me for 20 years, which is quite an amount of you know, effort. Um, a lot of people don't realize that during the day, when he's on, he's on during the day, he is always the first at any 911 call. He is the one who offers calmness, kindness, you have to look at the fa see pe what people's faces when he walks into the room when something nasty has happened. And I've seen it enough. I also, having sat in your position, know all the things that have gone on in this town and some of the things that people will never know about the lieutenant. Uh, and probably for a good reason. And the things he has put himself up for this town to make this town a better place. And I absolutely applaud and agree with Ben. He is the most honorable, honest, effective man, one of the men I've ever met. And I absolutely honor him because he is quite the best officer who's up for, the, for this position. No question in my mind. Okay. Thank you. And I will note that we did, well, this was several months ago, we did get a letter from the uh, police union with unanimously supporting the chief as well. So um, the, the other officers are behind him. The former chief can't say enough good about it. <laughs> um, you know, we've got some other good input. Any any other questions, comments? No. Well, I've known I've known Warren yeah. for quite some time, and certainly in, in the 29 years that I've lived in the town of Bolton, and certainly in the 
17 years now that I've, I've served in various capacities in, in the town of Bolton, both planning board, advisory committee, and 11 years now as selectman. Uh, and I echo the comments of the, the other two speakers uh, in terms of uh, you know, Warren's integrity and professionalism. And, you know, uh, in my review of, of Warren, my, one of my final comments is that I wholeheartedly recommend him to be the permanent chief in the town of Bolton. Well, seeing no other hearing, seeing and no other comments, I will make a motion that we appoint Warren Wilson to the Warren Nelson. Warren Nelson. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Warren Nelson. I'm sure Warren would appreciate it. There are too many Warrens here. Warren Nelson. Why would you bump up? The position of uh, the permanent chief of police for the town of Bolton. Select. All in favor? Aye. 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 information in your packet you could take action on it with someone here or you could defer it to the next meeting whatever your whatever your pleasure is so if I understand that they've raised some money and they want to just do some some of the repairs to the wall and and uh, gate that's down there I did discuss this with Martha probably about a month ago and and she explained to me that what they were looking to do and it's it, it's fairly self-explanatory I I've Go walking in Fleshire from time to time, so I'm relatively relatively familiar with the front, and uh, and it, it, it's work that does need to be done, and, mm -hmm. and they're kind of gracious enough to uh, to to be offering to gift this. Uh, I'm fine. I'm, yeah. I have no okay. questions. Okay. No. Then, uh, having no more questions, I will. Uh, Make a motion that we accept the gift from the group of the preservation of Five Shire Ponds to repair the gateway and wall at the entrance of the Five Shire Conservation Area. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. And you did have things that we do have an executive okay. session. And now we will be moving into executive session pursuant to MGL Chapter 30A, Section 21A, Subsection 3, to discuss strategy with respect to the bargaining for the fire union. As the chair finds that an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the board's bargaining position, the board will not re will not reconvene in the open session. <laughs> yeah, small type of yeah, that doesn't exist. So we will not be reconvening. <laughs> will not be. Yeah. But he said we'll we'll reconvene, but yeah. Yeah. we'll so we'll not. So. Okay. Linda? Well do I have a well do I have a motion to I make a motion that we'll move into executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Frame. Aye. Spray. Yes. Wasaki. Yes. Okay. 